Hello everyone. Welcome to the module on image processing. In this tutorial, you will learn about displaying images and depth. In the previous tutorial, we learned about how to read images using Python image library, matplotlib, and OpenCV. And if you see that Python image library, we open that and displays the image directly if we print the object or variable. Whereas matplotlib, if you read that image and you try to print it, you'll get the list of array. Similarly, the case of OpenCV. There is a slight difference between the matplotlib and the OpenCV arrays. As you can see that, the, uh, just try to observe the first columns. For example, let's try to understand the first row 98, 52, and 26 for matplotlib, and for OpenCV it is 26, 52, and 98. What you can understand is that the numbers are printed in the reverse order. Basically, the columns are changed. And so, in order to analyze more briefly about the OpenCV and uh, and matplotlib. The one thing we need to understand is that OpenCV by default read the image in BGR format blue, green, and red, whereas matplotlib will read in RGB red, blue, and green. Irrespective of what kind of uh, format it is, what kind of uh, the array format it is, doesn't matter, only it. We are completely analyzing the arrays. Okay. Let's try to analyze both the formats of array using OpenCV and matplotlib. Let's try to render, let's try to display the images using matplotlib and OpenCV. For that, in order to display the images, what I will use is mshow by matplotlib. Displaying images. Let's import some library, matplotlib. From matplotlib dot .pyplot, I just import as plt. And since I just want to display all my images in the browser, that's why I'm using the percentile matplotlib, matplotlib in line. Matplotlib in line. So this is, it's import, it's not from. Sorry. Now, let's uh, display the image by matplotlib. Image underscore mat. Now you can see that it is in red green and blue let's try to let's you will try to understand once i displayed the open cv image and as you can see it is consist of almost 1200 columns and 1600 rows and similarly let me visualize image by cv2 image cv as you can see there is a lot change in the difference in the colors. For example, the blue is almost replaced with orange and red is replaced by the blue and green is also dark green. Whereas the size and shape of the image still remains same. It consists of almost of 1200 rows and 1600 columns. Let's try to summarize the images of both matplotlib and cv2. In order to summarize that, dot shape will say that there are 1200 rows and 1600 columns and 3 indicates depth of the image. Depth indicates color, red color, green color and blue color. And basically if you try to analyze that, it is third dimension array. Instead of two dimensions, tied up consists of rows and columns. We have one more dimension called color is involved in the images. 
in order to explain the depth in the image, let's try to split the matrix into three parts and analyze each and every color individually. Let's try to analyze matte image by matte plotlib first. Analyzing image by matte plotlib. So if so the anal the way of analyzing what I'm doing here is split the array into three parts means saying that there is a three colors are there let me try to split into three parts split array into three parts so let me display the image first and as you can see that 98 94 89 and so on this is this indicates red color and 52 48 43 12 and this is green color and 26 22 17 this is my blue color if you consider if you consider one pixel which is combination of three colors red green and blue which you'll get one kind of color in this case it is a brown color so let's try to split that array into three parts basically what i'm trying to do is matrix slicing or array slicing let me let me say that there are three matrix or there are which is what my red my array so what i'll do i want all rows all columns and let me take the zero this is my red array and similarly green array image underscore map not lib mat and indexing all rows all column and first row so this is my green array and similarly blue image underscore mat let me take all rows all columns and two and this is my blue array and let me execute this and if you see that let me look at the shape of red shape of blue shape of green and shape of blue it looks like this 1200 by 1600 1200 by 1600 and 1200 by 1200 and as you can see that that one array mat or image underscore mat i just taken out the three matrix out of it now let me display the red array plt dot m show of red color and this is what you know it will highlight the red region and as you can see my original email array which is what the red consists of most of the red color in this region and that is what it is trying to highlight in this area and in order to visualize more clearly let me render that into grayscale so that it will be quite easy to analyze it and as you can see that white color whenever you can see the white color indicates that the more intensity of that color is in that part for example in this case it is red color similarly similarly let me display the green color and also display also display the blue color so, so I'll use subplot in order to show you I'll use a subplot 3 comma 3 comma 1 in order to show more clearly how the images and the depth are formed. I can see that subplot PL40 okay. Yeah. Oh it says that 301 okay 13. I just want only one row and three columns. One row and three columns. I just want one row and three columns. I don't want three rows and one column. Only one row and three columns. Yeah. So let me see that. Oh yeah, it's uh, clear. So let me increase my uh, figure size. Plt dot figure and fix size. Let me say is the width is let me take the width as 10 and height is 6. I think this will be much more clear. Yeah. 
So now let me put the title here, like you know, saying that it is a title. This is what my red region, and this is my um, this is my green, and this is my blue. Yeah. So it is clear now, as you can see that red region, green region, blue region. So what it is basically highlights that red matrix highlights the red region and blue matrix highlights the blue region and green matrix highlights the green part. That is what this indicates. And BGR, this OpenCV will basically read in BGR format. That means that Wherever you can see the red, it was replaced by blue, and wherever you see the blue, that was replaced by red, and green, it is green, but intensity of the color might get changed. And from artificial intelligence or data science perspective, if you see that data science is process of extracting knowledge from the data or information from the data. If you see the information, the both the three matrices having the same information red matrix having the parrot green matrix is also having the parrot blue matrix is also having the parrot so instead of working on the three different matrix having the same information let's work on the only one matrix so that is what combination of red green and blue which is what grayscale which has the information about the red, green, and blue. So grayscale image is a two-dimension array which consists of all the parts of information. So the reason of working on the grayscale image is that since the color image, if you see that information is same in all the three matrix and the same information, whereas the grayscale is a two-dimension array, and uh, while Comparing with the color, color image or grayscale image, if you see that the computation power of the color images will be three times longer, whereas for the grayscale it is a three times shorter and computationally grayscale are more and more efficient. That is the reason why most of the image processing we will work on grayscale images. In order to convert that any image into the grayscale, we can use OpenCV. So you can use grayscale gray is equal to cv2 dot m read, sorry, cv2 dot convert color. And you can see that it's source, source of the image. Let me check that image mat and core is, and the core is cv2 dot color underscore it's a RGB what is the color it is what I want to convert from RGB to gray and similarly if I want to convert the image for CV2 it is image CV and CV2 dot color underscore BGR to gray for OpenCV images and this is for matplotlib and this is for CV just let me execute it execute it now it is executed successfully now you can see that mat.shape and gray.shape both the same and if you render that or if you display the images of both grayscale by matplotlib and let me let me set the color map is equal to gray and you can see that this is the grayscale image combination of three colors and similarly for cv2 is also similar and both the matrix will be similar respect to it is the matplotlib image or opencv image and both are same hope you hope you understand what is an image and how the image and purpose of grayscale in the next session we will talk more about the values means this values what are these values and what is the 63 indicates what is 59 and what is 54 what are these values or indicator the next session we will talk 
more about them in very briefly. Thank you very much.